Poda, CQ Poda. Well, hey everyone, it's Tank Oscar Mike. Let me show you what uh, my new antenna project is. This is a Gap Antennas Titan DX antenna. Um, I bought it off another ham. Uh, it fell over in a storm and was damaged. Um, I can show you the damage point. This is the piece that broke. It uh, bent over. The other end of it is still sticking into that pipe. Um, so he got the two replacement pieces, the bottom piece and the, the top piece. Uh, these radial arms are bent, and that's what I'm working on straightening out right now. Those should be, those should be straight. Um, he also got the new center conductor, the wire for it, that runs through it, that runs the whole system. Uh, a couple little pieces here and there broke. Uh, but what I'm doing right now is trying to straighten these out as best I can just so I can get an idea of what I'm dealing with. Um, so I can figure out what I need to do next. Maybe I, I might have to order some parts. Um, I've already straightened the four counterpoise rods. The end of them were bent pretty bad. I straightened those. So let's see. I still have a couple more I want to straighten and tweak a little bit. So let's see if I can't do that. So this one still has a pretty good kink in it right here. And all I'm doing is finding the, the kink spots, putting them on the, the edge of the wood here, and applying a little pressure. So that looks good. Let me get this really bad one. So this is the really bad one. I disconnect these. This one's bent a little bit. This one shouldn't take much at all here. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This is just tweaked a little bit. That's not bad. Set that aside. Now, yeah, this one's uh, got a nice curve to it, as you can see. So, what you do is you lay it down flat and see where it starts to bend. So, I want to start here. This is in the way, and I just want to start bending. So I took a lot of the bend out right there. Let's see. I still gotta start back here and work it again. Actually, let me move that down there so it's out of the way. Again. Looking, that's getting better. That is getting better already. As you can see now, uh, well, if you can see, when I lay it down now, I have a bend starting about here. Oh. 
That might have been too much. Oh, that looks good. That looks pretty good. It's a little wavy, but I don't mind that as long as it's not a big curve. But I think I can make those work. I think those will be just fine. Some of these ends were bent pretty bad. And I've tried to straighten them out a little bit just by giving them some love taps without trying to, to crush it. And I've gotten them pretty straight. Um, they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be perfect. Um, these act as the radials going up the side of the antenna. So if I can get them at least a little bit straight, uh, I'm not too worried about it. Um, these spacers though, this one's broke. Or is it? Yeah, I think this is broke because I think a, a, um, a, a Ghibli bit or whatever uh, Colin calls them, a uh, pipe clamp uh, goes through here and wraps around the thing. But this is like a fiberglass PVC. I might just be able to make this out of a little piece of PVC. And I thought there was another one broke too. Those two look okay. Those two. This might be the only broke one. But yeah, now to figure out how it all goes together, I'm gonna work on that main pipe, see if I can't get that apart and um, take everything off there and then see what else. But this antenna normally is $500. Um, the, the person that had it bought it uh, it got damaged in the storm. Like I said, it snapped over. He bought the parts to repair it um, and then decided that he was just going to buy a brand new one. So he had bought a brand new one and he had the parts for this one. Um, I don't know if he was planning on having two of them or what, but and then he decided to sell one. So I got this for a very low price. Um, so I'm very thankful to him for uh, for let me have it at that price even though it is damaged uh, I'm paying less than 10% of what the original cost is or basically 10% of what the original cost is um, so if I can get this working this way I saved a ton of money and I have a 24 foot uh, I think it's 6 through 80 vertical antenna uh, that doesn't require radials because uh, these are radials um, I need some end caps for these, uh, which I can make. I'm not worried about that. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to be in pretty good shape with this antenna, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm just uh, stripping off some of the old hardware off the old center mast. These pipe clamps and these uh, these little fittings here. I think I can take this stuff off. Yes, I'm talking to myself. Now you're on camera. How do you like that? Maybe I'll post a picture in here to show you what the antenna looks like uh, when it's back assembled. But the counterpoise for this the, the counterpoise for this antenna are elevated. Um, they say at least four feet off the ground, but people put these you know a lot higher than that. I'm thinking of getting a uh, eight foot piece of pipe and burying it in the ground. Uh, 
um, and then clamping this to it. Uh, if I wanted to make this a tip over, I could, these are just pieces of uh, PVC. This isn't needed anymore, so I'm gonna cut this off. Get that out of the way, maybe. Let's see if I can't pull that out. It's crap anyhow, that's no good. I don't need that, okay. And then, can I cut it off in there? This is the old conductor wire. Yeah, some of these. I'm probably gonna need those for the new one. with it for right now. So I don't need that. And then this is the old vertical piece, so that's going too. So right there, man. That's pretty good. I need to get that piece off of there and disconnect that top piece. That wire going up, that wire runs up inside that pool. This is the new bottom part. So I'll keep that there. This is how this antenna has. Um, that's why there's all these little copper, these little aluminum strips, is they connect onto the side of the antenna like this to make the radiating elements. And there's, so I think, six different lengths of this that go on the, the pipe. But I need to get this off. And Some of it's still stuck there. So this is the inside radiator for this antenna. Not sure what that is. Actually, I don't need this part. We have a whole new, a whole new piece of that. So that's the old piece. I don't need that. Actually, I can start putting the top section back together by putting that wire up through the pipe. This is the new piece for this pipe. So all this... All this gets fed up through this pipe. Um, which may be tricky. Let's see. Let's just start feeding it and see what happens. Tango Oscar Mike.